Now there'll be some functions which will contain isolated points with no neighborhood. Say for example, we have this function fx which is defined by this under root of 1 minus x plus under root of x minus 1. Now this first expression it is defined when 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 that is when x is less than or equal to 1 and the second one will be defined when x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or when x is greater than or equal to 1. So this function it is defined only at one point x equal to 1. So if we draw the graph of this function it will be drawn like this single point at x equals 1 and if you put x equal to 1 this value will be 0. So this is the graph of this function fx. So for this function its entire domain is this one isolated point and there is nothing in the neighborhood neither on the left and nor on the right. In such cases we will assume function to be continuous. So in this case this function fx is supposed to be continuous at x equal to 1. So at all the isolated points where we do not have any neighborhood function fx is assumed to be continuous. We get this result from epsilon delta definition. In this case for every epsilon we will get some value of delta and it doesn't contradict any standard condition. So such functions where we have isolated points with no neighborhood are considered to be continuous at those points.